So what we have here today is the Yamaha EF3000. This is the ISEB version. So it is a generator, but also an inverter. What does that mean? That means not only can you run stuff like power equipment on a job site, you could also run sensitive electronic equipment like a laptop, charge your mobile devices, maybe even run a television or a wireless hotspot for your job site. You're able to run all types of sensitive electronics that you should not run with a standard generator. You might not be aware that some of the cordless power tools their chargers cannot be run or should not be run with a standard generator. You should be running those chargers with a generator inverter. Why is that? <laughs> the reason is well beyond my understanding and a the ability for me to explain, but it has something to do with the sine wave. The sine wave. I I don't know what to tell you. I do know that this Yamaha generator inverter is really easy to use and it's a, it's a great generator. I've had a lot of luck with it over the course of the few years. As long as you have a tank full of gas, I've never had any trouble getting it started. You have multiple ways of starting this generator. Number one, there is an onboard battery that allows for turnkey starting. The generator will charge that battery so you don't have to worry about <laughs> charging the battery, make sure it's charged. If your generator has been run recently, it should start. All you'll do is pull your choke out Okay, turn your fuel on, and then you're gonna turn your key from stop to on, and then once you're in the on position to start the generator, you'll then turn to the start position. Once the generator turns over, you give it a few seconds to, to kind of warm up. Once it's kind of warm, you'll then push in your choke, and you're ready to run. Ready to plug in power tools, sensitive electronics, televisions. But hey, you know, what if you're not using the full capacity of the generator all the time? The generator could waste a lot of gas. This generator has a great feature. It's the economy mode. With the flip of this button, it will take the revs down of the generator and, and almost put it in a standby mode or low power mode where you might be able to charge things like battery chargers, slow wattage items at this low RPM. But once the generator calls for more power or tools call for more power from the generator, the RPMs will, will kick up. Watch this. You know, now that the generator's running, you can see if I, if I pull the trigger on this 15 amp skill saw, you'll get a little sputter at first and it'll recover. Now if you were to set this generator in, in eco mode, okay, the RPMs come down to save gas and allow for longer run time when the generator is not under heavy use, but you'll notice when you use a high draw tool such as a skill saw, and I'll, I'll move away so you can, you can hear the generator, you're gonna get almost a stall. So if you're gonna be operating heavy draw equipment, a uh, tool or something that's going to have use a lot of startup amps, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that the generator is set to economy off and let it run full speed at all times, okay? It pretty much doesn't, you know, up to its 3,000 uh, watt rating, really doesn't skip a beat. Let's turn her down. If you were gonna put this away to store it, you'd wanna turn the fuel off. And if you were gonna do a long-term storage, you would wanna run out all the gasoline or put a gasoline additive, like a fuel stabilizer, if you were gonna maybe store this for the summer or winter. 
whatever it would be. For any reason that battery was dead, you hadn't run the generator in a while, you have a secondary option. You can use the, the pull start here. All you'll do is make sure your, your fuel is on, your choke is, is on if the generator is cold. If it's warm, like in you know our situation here where it's been running, you turn your key to on, and then all you'll do is pull your ripcord to start. You're ready to go. As you can see, it turns over fairly easily. I can't stress how, how much this, this unit has come in handy over the years. Matter of fact, last year, we cooking Easter dinner, our power went out. We used this generator to save Easter dinner. Maybe I'll link that video here. So in closing, if you're looking for a multi-purpose generator that can run some equipment and tools, and you might use it for tailgating on the weekends and you want to run televisions, computers, entertainment equipment, this Yamaha generator should serve you well. If you like this video, make sure you smash that like button, leave your comments below, and share this video with anybody that might be in the market for a generator. We really appreciate it. Thanks a lot and have a great day. Hey Clint, Batteries may be the devil, but generators are okay. <laughs> Did you like that video? Wondering what to watch next? Well, why don't you click over here and watch this video? Or click over here and watch this video. If you really like our content, we hope you consider getting subscribed by clicking right here. Thanks a lot, and have a great day, guys.